everyone i'm neela mishra feeling very happy to share that bio shorts has just completed one year i'm so grateful for your positive response that helped me to achieve this milestone i wish to work hard and keep my focus on to create good quality and more engaging video lectures to make this channel a favorite destination for all career aspirants and higher education students I thank all the subscribers and viewers of my channel. On this note, join me for another useful video on a very contemporary topic of clean and green energy solutions. As is known, the rampant use of fossil fuels has severely endangered human life through its drastic after effects such as environmental pollution, global warming and climate change. Moreover, rising energy demand decreasing fossil fuel supply instability of oil prices and greater awareness about climate change threats has generated considerable interest in the use of alternative and sustainable energy in order to replace existing non-renewable fossil fuels the global energy scenario is changing very fast and the world has made remarkable efforts in this direction to enable supply of clean and green energy at an affordable rate during the last few years according to international energy agency there has been a visible impact of renewable energy technologies such as solar wind and biomass transforming the global energy systems which are also crucial to tackle climate change crisis and expand energy access thus making for the argument that the future lies in using clean and green energy however there is still considerable consumer outcry and public apathy towards clean energy technologies the burning questions for india and the world are how fast the use of renewable can scale up can 100% renewable energy power the world are renewable energy supplies available when we want them and to what extent can they mitigate greenhouse gas emissions the answer is largely debatable and depends critically on the nature of renewable energy source available wind and solar energy are dependent on weather conditions they are not completely firm supplies that is we cannot absolutely guarantee that they will be available when we need them most of the renewable sources are also variable in efficiency one of the major concerns is that large scale deployment of renewable energy is not problem free and hence both we should look for new smarter technologies that can help in decarbonization of future energy generation to achieve the net zero target as an upshot of these efforts is the fuel cell technology one of the latest energy convergence strategies that can provide a fast solution for the sustainable energy development fuel cells are transforming the way we presently produce power and are the third fastest growing renewable energy industry after solar and biomass it is likely that 21st century will be the century of the fuel cells fuel cell technology has many advantages over other kinds of energy generators for example no emission of environmental polluting greenhouse gases high efficiency lack of noise pollution and so forth as outlined here on your screen fuel cells are efficient clean electrochemical devices that transform the chemical energy of fuels such as hydrogen methanol ethanol and hydrocarbon into electrical energy directly using a pair of redox reactions bypassing inefficiencies associated with thermal energy conversion however unlike batteries the reductant and oxidant in the fuel cell must be continuously replenished to allow continuous operation a variety of fuel cells are in different stages of development fuel cells can be categorized in different ways but the most common classification is based on the choice of fuel and the nature of electrolytes this slide provides an overview of the key characteristic of the main fuel cell types for example polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell alkaline fuel cell solid oxide fuel cell etc it is important to highlight here that although the fuel cell technology has several advantages over conventional energy systems but has encountered many challenges and has been hindered by high cost of raw materials durability use investment 
in infrastructure development and safety regulations size weight thermal and water management are also barriers to fuel cell commercialization in order to overcome all these constraints recently great attention has been paid to one type of fuel cell called microbial fuel cells due to their mild operating conditions which work well in the temperature range of 20 to 40 degrees centigrade at neutral ph cost competitiveness and ability to use a wide variety of biodegradable substrates as fuels in addition microbial fuel cells have exhibited promising potential in sustainable wastewater treatment and contaminant removal microbial fuel cell involves the use of the oldest smallest and most adaptable creature of our planet do you know what it is i'm sure the day is not far in a few decades some of the electricity that you use might be generated by bacteria or algae so now the whole focus of this video will be on microbial fuel cell technology what is a microbial fuel cell how does it work what are the types of microbial fuel cells what are the applications of this particular fuel cell and why is it a smarter alternative renewable technology Let's get straight to the point of interest and begin with the brief history of microbial fuel cell. The idea of using microbes for producing electricity was conceived by Porter in 1911 who managed to generate electricity from Saccharomyces cerevisiae but the work received little coverage. In 1931 Cohen created microbial half fuel cells The concept of microbial fuel cell was studied in detail by Allen and Benetto who explained how microbial fuel cells operate and can be a possible method for generation of electricity. Later on Suzuki et al in 1976 produced a successful microbial fuel cell design and in 2007 a prototype microbial fuel cell was made using wastewater to generate electricity. Since then the design and materials used for anode and cathode in microbial fuel cells have greatly improved after this short historical background let's understand what a microbial fuel cell is a microbial fuel cell is a bioelectrochemical device that converts chemical energy to electrical energy by the action of microorganisms it generates electricity by the use of electrons obtained from the anaerobic oxidation of substrates catalyzed by microbial enzymes involved in cellular respiration as illustrated in the schematic representation microbial fuel cell consists of two electrodes a bio anode and a bio cathode held in separate chambers separated by a proton exchange membrane the anode chamber is anaerobic while cathode chamber is aerobic the anaerobic oxidation of organic substances such as acetate glucose lactose and ethanol occurs in the anode compartment during which protons electrons and carbon dioxide are released the electrons produced during oxidation are transferred to the cathode chamber where they combine with protons and oxygen to form water according to the reaction The electron transfer from the anode to the cathode via external circuit produces electricity. Oxygen is continuously consumed to maintain the potential for electricity generation. Most microbial fuel cells use an organic electron donor but sometimes may use other electron donors such as sulfur compounds or hydrogen. The cathode reaction most often uses oxygen due to its high oxidation potential and ready availability. In the next section I am going to focus on the types of microbial fuel cells. These are broadly divided into two categories, mediated and mediator free microbial fuel cell. Most microbial cells are electrochemically inactive. Electron transfer from the microbial cells to the electrode is facilitated by external mediators such as thionine, methyl halogen, methyl blue and neutral red. Most of the mediators are expensive and toxic. On the other hand, mediator free microbial fuel cells are electrochemically active bacteria, for example, Schwannella putrefaciens and Aeromonas hydrophilae. To transfer electrons directly from the bacterial respiratory enzymes to the electrode. Let me elaborate more on this. 
mediated free microbial fuel cells can harvest electricity from electrode reducing organisms that donate electrons to the anode the mechanism of electron transfer can occur by three different pathways as explained in the diagram first electrons can be transferred to the anode through a soluble mediator in the solution bathing the electrode second Electrons can be transferred directly to the anode through proteins for example cytochromes found on the outer membrane of bacteria in some instances bacterial pili which are short hair like structure on the cell surface or nanowires transmit the electrodes uh, to the anode interestingly the substrates that these organisms need for the redox reactions can be readily obtained from the waste water or contaminated water which would both provide energy and clean up the environment finally i'm going to discuss the applications of microbial fuel cells it is a fantastic technology that can use a wide variety of substrates materials and system architecture to achieve bioelectricity production for example microbial fuel cell can be used for remote monitoring which consumes low power microbial fuel cells can be used to harvest biohydrogen different kinds of waste water such as sanitary waste food processing waste water and other industrial waste water contain energy in the form of biodegradable organic matters microbial fuel cell technology is considered as an efficient waste water treatment technology to capture the energy of organic pollutants in the form of electricity or hydrogen gas utilizing anaerobic decomposition this technology can also be used as biosensor for pollutant analysis and process monitoring such as environmental sensor bod sensor glucose sensor etc it has been exhibited that this kind of bod sensor has excellent operational sustainability and reproducibility at this point i wind up this video in a nutshell microbial fuel cell technology is an emerging smarter eco-friendly alternative energy system the question is could these natural mechanism be enhanced for commercial scale up the answer is yes it is very much possible and holds a lot of promise advancement in the understanding of microorganisms has greatly increased the scope of microbial fuel cells toward alternative energy generation genetic engineering is being used to increase the efficiency of electricity generation by manipulating genes involved in the electron transfer who knows electricity generation in the future might be much cleaner and more sustainable than today using this technology i thank you all for watching and for your patience keep watching bio shorts please post your feedback in the comment box and don't forget to share and subscribe the channel if you have not done yet stay connected for more useful videos enjoy learning till we meet again